Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisim Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This video demonstrates the Logisim Evolution Chronogram feature. A chronogram is a timing diagram that is frequently used to troubleshoot synchronous circuits. A chronogram graphically displays the level of each input and output after each clock pulse, so the designer can determine if the circuit is functioning properly. For this video, I'm using the Lab 6 starter circuit. The chronogram has a few requirements to work properly. First, the sub-circuit being tested must be on the main circuit. So for this video, I'll be creating a chronogram of the up counter. Next, there must be a sampling clock named sys clock on the main circuit. For this video, I've set both the high and low duration for sys clock to one tick. Next, a circuit master clock named clock is used to provide the timing pulses for the counter. I've set that clock's high and low duration to four ticks. Finally, I'll set the tick frequency to four hertz. Using these settings will cause the chronogram to sample once every second. While this may be slow for most production circuits, it's a good setting for learning how the chronogram works. To start the chronogram, click Simulate and Chronogram. Click the Sys clock in the left panel and Add. Now the dash 2 after the word Sys clock simply indicates that this is a binary signal. Now the sys clock will not show up on the chronogram. However, it is required as a sampling clock. Therefore, I like to put it first in the list of added signals. That way I don't accidentally forget it. Click clock in the left panel and add it. And click probe one in the left panel and add that. Next I'm going to enable time selection and I'm going to indicate that I want to use our clock signal, that's our master clock signal, as our timer and its frequency is 1 Hertz. Next I'll start the chronogram. Now the first thing I want to do is set up our probe signal. I'll right click on probe and set the format to binary. Right now it's set for hexadecimal. You can actually set this anything that you want, but binary will let me look at each of the bits in this signal. And to make it easier, I'll expand this out so that each of the bits now are in their own track. Now the chronogram has five different buttons at the top. Button 1 will start and stop the simulation. Button 2 will step the simulator one step. Button 3 starts and stops the sys clock. Now sys clock is our sampling clock, so that's what actually starts our chronogram working. Button 4 will step the sys clock one tick. And button 5 will step the clock signal, our master clock, one tick. For the most part, you'll simply start sys clock, let the chronogram uh, work, and then stop it when you've seen enough. And that's what I'll do now. I click that, and notice now that Logisim Evolution is automatically stepping through all of these signals, and it's, it's running this up counter. Well, let me stop this now. And there are a couple of things we can do at this point. If I click on the timing diagram somewhere, I get a red line. This is a cursor. So at this point, I can see exactly what the various signals are set at here on the left panel. The other thing I can do while I'm looking at this uh, chronogram is I can use my mouse wheel. If I roll the wheel one way, it will con compact that 
that's uh, chronogram so that it's easier to see the entire thing. If I roll it the other way, then it will expand that out. There are two buttons here on the bottom that are important for you. Export will actually export this chronogram in a text file. You can open that text file and look. It simply shows all of these signals uh, one after the other in a text format. But that file can then be loaded in order to take a look at the chronogram a second time. Now, the other button here is to export this chronogram as a ping image. That's about it for Chronogram. It's a simple tool to use once you get the hang of it and will give you a world of information about what's going on in your synchronous circuits. Please let me know if you run into any roadblocks and I'll be glad to help. I'll be seeing you online.